Hey everybody, it's Christopher Naiman. How you doing out there? I just finished my new extension table that I built. It's on my blog. Put it up on my blog how I did it. And I want to do this little video for you to show you that a lot of people said to me, Christopher, you know, I don't have a real modern, up-to-date, top-line sewing machine. Well, you know what? I've got my brother, ULT. Uh, this is 2001. That's how old this machine is. And I'm going to show you, even on this machine, I can sew leather. You know, one thing about the Brother and Baby Lock sewing machines, they got the best feeding system. They really do. And I never have an issue sewing with them. So I'm going to do a little demonstration for you sewing some leather on this. Uh, it's a Pace Setter by Brother. And again, it's a 2001 model. So stick with me. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got two pieces of leather. This is upholstery leather. And um, actually, it's bag leather also. It's, it's just so nice. I guess this came off the run from a coach factory. So you could say this is, um, I mean, you can use this leather for handbags. You use this leather for uh, uh, upholstery. But it's a really nice soft leather. And, and you can see it's, it's pretty decently thick. I'd say it's about a 2.0 ounce. Because leather is, is actually measured by the ounce and you buy leather by the square foot and it usually comes the quarters like kind of like buying meat because it's the skin of a hide of a cow and you know as long as people keep eating beef there will always be leather okay so what I'm gonna do is I've got my Teflon foot on here I have a size 18 uh, needle a leather needle I've got top stitch thread by, by uh, Coates and Clark dual duty I've got standard construction thread on my bobbin I have my stitch, uh, my stitch is a straight stitch center needle position. I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance. And one thing about this older machine, it does not have a sensor. What it has up here, let me see if I turn the camera for you. What it has up here is a pressure dial, and I've got it set on number three, okay? So it's good, but like, like the, newer, the newer machines, they have a, a, sense, a sensor foot, which means they'll go up and down for the thickness of the fabric. So on, on some of your old vintage machines, you'll have, you'll have like a little knob up here on top that you push down, you push a button to release it. You can adjust your tension of the thickness for your fabric you're sewing on. So my tension, actually, my, and this is very important to remember, my tension is set at 7.0. Okay, the thicker the fabric, the tighter the tension. Remember that. So I'm just going to do a simple uh, half inch seam allowance here. Let me get this started here for you. And normally what you do when you start sewing, you pull on the back threads, okay? You're going to pull on these back threads. That's what you normally do. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a half inch seam allowance. My stitch length is 4.0. And you might have seen, seen me sew like this on my other machine, my Baby Luck Elegante, which is a, a newer model, quite <laughs> at least a deck, uh, 12, at least 10, 12 years younger than, than this one. Okay, but you can't beat this one. Look, it's got even all metal throat plate here. Now they make them with plastic. You get a machine like this, don't give it away, okay? And look at the board, the, the, the board on has lasted all this time. I better knock on wood on that one. You know, those computer boards are always going on machines, but this one's been going wonderful for me. Okay, so now I'm going to set my needle to the left needle position. I have to reset my tension to 7.0. I know I got the camera away from here, but you can hear me beeping. Okay, and then my stitch length is going to be a 5.0. I'm going to do the butterfly seam where you split the seam in the back. And I've got my needle all the way to the left needle position. My presser foot is going to ride on the edge of the, the seam. Okay, so here I go. Isn't that nice how it sews? Now, listen, uh, like I talked about many times, if you're going to be doing heavier and a lot more production using leather, get an industrial machine. But if you're just going to be doing little bits and you just want to make yourself a simple little handbag or whatever, uh, you know, know that a machine like this is going to uh, serve its purpose for you. And if you have a machine, the most important thing to understand is your setup, your needle, and if your machine has a good feeding system. Okay, and you see how nice that's feeding through? I'll hold this up for you after I'm done. Okay, so it went through the two layers there. And... There it is. You can see how pretty that stitch is. And the back, there's your bobbin thread in the back. Perfect, beautiful. The front, absolutely beautiful. So anyway, this is what you've got uh, 
look how nice that seam is. Isn't that a nice seam for leather? Isn't that nice? And just to show you, you know, you can fold, I'm going to just, just play around here. I'm going to fold that over again and show you how nice top stitching is. 5.0. You never want a short stitch length. Three, you know, four, three or 4.0 is the shortest you should do when you're doing a seam. Um, especially vinyl also. Remember that. And I wrote that in my book. And I always tell everybody, read that book a couple times before you start any projects. And before you start projects, make test samples. Now you see, this is a little test sample to test. And if I was going to put a zipper or anything in, I would do I could get a, a, an old zipper and do a test also. So anyway, this is the results I get. Um, and again, this is on a different sewing machine I have at home, a, a domestic home sewing machine. So everybody, you got to understand how to use your set sewing machine, how to set it up, how to make it work for you. You know, date, date. Go on a date with your sewing machine. Get to know your sewing machine. Understand the mechanics and why it work and how it works. Because nine and three quarter percent of the time out of ten, when people have issues sewing, it's operator error and they're not educated on the mechanics of the machine. They're maybe once or twice a year sewers. They get excited. They want to sew and they forgot all about their machine. They don't understand the setups. They may be used to only using one type of fabric, maybe just cotton their whole life and they want to venture into something new and they don't understand. That's why, like in my book, Celebrity Bags, you know, I have everything written out and read it a couple times. So anyway, just want to show you that. And like I said, a 2001 version brother sewing machine. Look how beautiful that is. And your older vintage machines, those heavy duty tanks, oh boy, they can handle anything. So that's it. Have a great day, everybody. Love you. God bless.